we are so remote here, we're not connected to the highway systems. There's no uh, infrastructure out here. Everything is flown in. We are 300 miles from a road. Hey, Corbin, um, when that announcement comes out in nine minutes, will you alert me? If it says Quijack, I need to know that immediately, okay? We're fishing in uh, Bristol Bay, which is part of the Bering Sea, out of the port of Naknek, Alaska, targeting sockeye salmon. And I do catch all five species of salmon, but however, sockeye is about 99% of what I catch out here. So right here is this arbitrary line that, that determines the Naknek section and the Quijack section. Tony likes to fish over here when they're both open, but that's part of the opening announcement that tells us whether it's the Naknek section only or both. Right now we'll pull the anchor and we'll just kind of hover here and then, and then we start fishing at 9.30, but I want to know if I'm going to break west or east and be ready to go, okay? So we'll pull the anchor in. What we're doing right now is we're waiting. We're waiting for a nine o'clock announcement, a 9 a.m. announcement to tell us where and when we can fish. The fishing periods are, are regulated by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game to make sure that the fishery is sustainable, remains sustainable. For hundreds of years, this fishery has been producing and feeding people all over the world. We're in a, in a cycle right now where there's more fish than, than, than ever before. Last year, 2018, was the largest run of Bristol Bay sockeye salmon in the history of fisheries, so that goes back to about the 1880s. It's still just like it was 100 years ago, and there's really no other fishery on the planet that you can say is the same. So they fish around the tide. They, they plan and orchestrate those, those openers around the tide. We do what's called active management, which is the tide-by-tide -tide management. We're sitting in a strategic position where we can make a maneuver right now and fish in either section, whether they open up the Quijack section or they open up the Naknek section. Alaska Department of Fish and Game in King Salmon with an update for the Naknek Quijack District. The time is 9 a.m. and the date is Wednesday, July 17th. Once that announcement happens, uh, you'll see boats charging in all directions to try and, and get into position to where they can get in front of fish. Work hours are pretty much 24-7, so they're fishing two tides a day. The tide changes every 12 hours, so they're fishing anywhere from 6 to 12 hours and then maybe a three or four hour break in between and then they're doing it again. So Tony maybe gets a couple hours of sleep in a 24 hour period and that happens throughout the whole summer fishing season, potentially of 30 to 45 days like that. So it's grueling. The Quijack River escapement was 25,000 for a cumulative count of 1.3 million. Escapement is the uh, number of fish that get past the commercial fishery, get up river to their natal spawning streams and on. See, all the fishermen understand it, that escapement comes first. No one argues that that's most important because everyone here is in it for the long haul. The neck neck section will open to drift gill neck gear for a six and a half hour period today, Wednesday, July 17th. Okay, you're confirming that neck neck and quijack? We're, we're out of the box here. no other fisherman that's doing what I'm doing. There's so many other companies that are out there that have a curtain behind them. There's some smoke and mirrors behind their operation. They're not the real thing. They're, they're just buying and reselling seafood. The difference is in the transparency that we have. We are truly the only company in Southwest Alaska that catches, processes, and directly sells our fish to you. So this is Naknek Beach. This is the beach that Tony delivers to. Tony, as you know, is the only fisherman that delivers to shore. So this is where all the action happens after the fishing period. 
This boat here, the Mad Max, has refrigerated seawater and it keeps the fish a little bit over freezing temperature, so when they come in, they're in good shape. One, one, zero, three. With this operation, we have good quality and keep the fish in the best condition all the time. We get the fish and the totes from the boats, but we try to get it done as quick as possible so they can get back out to sea. We do everything with quality in mind. We're taking our own fish to our own plant and then directly selling it on our website and to our wholesale customers. It's just a chain reaction. As soon as there's fish, there's processing, and you don't stop until the fish is all processed. So how do you take 20,000 pounds of fish and chill it down to 33? A lot of ice and, and some salt into insulated totes with ice, so it gets the fish cold really, really quickly. And our goal is to get the fish down to about 33 degrees before we cut them because that's just better for the quality of the meat, the integrity of the meat. So from the time they're caught till the time they're processed, our fish are as treated as good as anybody can treat them. We have a wide range of customers, so from someone that's ordering five pounds to someone that's coming to a farmer's market and buying their first piece of wild salmon ever to grocery stores and restaurants too. It's, it's all about quality for us. It's a little bit harder to do it that way, um, but it's worth the extra effort. Once the fish go through our processing line, they uh, you typically either get shipped out fresh or get loaded into a freezer, one of the two. So uh, depending on the ultimate destination of that fish, uh, it's either getting frozen or getting on an airplane today. We are a full service seafood company. This goes into customer service, the farmers markets that we do, the internet website sales, our wholesale markets that we have. 20, 25 years, Tony and I have known each other. Tony get off the boat to go split his own fish and right back on the boat again and things evolved from there, getting more people, setting the plan up and now he's selling salmon all over the country and out of the country actually. This fish coming right out of the water fresh is, is some of the best food that you can get on the planet. Wild salmon is the healthiest thing you can eat. It has the protein, the omega fatty acids that you want. Preserve that and get it to a consumer, that's our goal. This is the real deal. You're getting it directly from the guy that caught it. WildAlaskaSalmonAndSeafood.com is my website. Or you can call us at 907-246-7883. If you want to talk to me, you can. You can ask for me and you'll get a hold of me. Now you know the guy that caught your dinner.